This video is a tutorial on how to use the D5 converter for Rhino to set up multiple lights with precision and speed. When it comes to architectural visualization, we often have to deal with locating a large number of lights along curves, this can be a lot of work. In this video, I'll show you how to solve this problem and quickly light your scene with ease. All you need is D5 Render, Rhino, and the D5 Converter for Rhino. Start D5 and click on Workflow, find the Rhino Converter and click Download. Once installed, start Rhino and you'll see the floating converter menu. You can drag and drop it wherever you wish. In Rhino we need to enter, Package Manager, in the command box or click on the Package Manager icon. Once the Package Manager menu appears, Type in Abubilis, restart Rhino after successfully installing the plugin and it should be working. This is the model I'm using as a demo scene. I switch to AO display mode where I can have a clear picture of the blocks and layers. You can see this has a curved design. As is often the case, when setting up lights, we have to place them one by one or by copying the model over and over again. This can be annoying and very time consuming. Doing it this way also makes it hard to decide how far apart each light is placed. In order to solve this problem, let me show you some tips. As you can see on the upper right corner, we have the D5 converter available. Click on the triangle icon and start D5. Now Rhino will sync with D5. To make the screen layout easier to use, I'm placing the windows side by side. Then select the D5 window and press F10 and F11 so the sidebars are collapsed to make for a larger viewport. In Rhino I'm setting the display mode to shaded and you can see D5 is in sync as you rotate or zoom your view in Rhino. There's one issue you may need to be aware of. You might find all the materials are gone when syncing. In this demo, I've already set up my materials including walls, streets, and some accessories. This is how the scene looks now. That's how to sync D5 with Rhino. Now let's start with setting up the lights. Click on the view off icon to stop syncing the view. In this part, you'll need some basic knowledge of Grasshopper. Open this file and you can see some components on the screen. This is a basic curve and this is a set button. This is ID and this one is distance. We want to add some lights to these two layers, so we need a basic curve to do the work. Click on this icon to duplicate edge. My shortcut is DS, but you can set your own. Select these curves and right click. Then press J to join them. Set an offset of 1 meter for each of them and drag them down a little. Select all of these four curves. Right click on the basic curve here in Grasshopper. Select set multiple curves. Then check the enable preview option. Now there are some dots shown here. By switching to the wireframe mode, you can see clearly those are actually lights placed along the curve. The distance value controls how far each light is placed from each other and I'm setting it to 7 meters. You can adjust the distance to whatever you like. Next select render tools, then find the create point light icon. Click on it to create a point light and place it in the scene. Then right-click Enter ID and select Set 1 GUID. Then you can delete the point light. When the distance is what you want, click on the Set button. Now all the point lights have been placed precisely and orderly. From the top view, we can see the arrangement of the lights even more clearly. We can close Grasshopper now. Find the Send Lights icon in the D5 Converter menu. This sends the lighting information to D5. Click on it and over here it says success. Now we can open D5 render and you'll see all the lights have been placed exactly as they were set in Rhino with Grasshopper. Press F10 and F11 to restore the layout. Select the scene you created and this light group will be in the object list. Here you are able to adjust the intensity, attenuation radius and temperature of the whole group instead of individual lights. If you don't want too much reflection on the streets, just turn off visible in reflection. Now, let's closely examine all the lights. They look very natural and balanced in this scene, so we can then start rendering. If you want spotlights instead, it works the same way. Select a spotlight in Render Tools and create one. Go to ID, Component in Grasshopper and click Set 1 GUID, then click Set. 
Please note the light of a spotlight comes from the tip of the cone, so if the tip is stuck inside an object, the spotlight will not be visible. You'll need to be careful where this tip is placed. Leave some space between the tip of the lights and other objects. Now click Send Lights and open D5. All the point lights have been replaced with spotlights. The parameters of this light group are adjustable as well. We can compare these two images, one with lights on and one with no lights. Lighting brings out more from the scene and it doesn't take much effort to achieve this effect. Pretty easy. Give it a try. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.